Good morning, guys. Today is the day. We find out the gender of our baby. We're so excited. Like, we both don't mind either way it doesn't matter as long as baby is healthy that's all we care about but it's still like a really fun exciting thing um, especially to start referring to it as he or she rather than just it all the time so yeah we're really excited um, I'm thinking boy I've always thought that not for any specific reason just because that's I can only picture myself with boys for some reason I don't know I'd love a daughter but if the text says girl I'll be completely shocked and if the text says boy I'll be like I knew it all along so you know like all along before I even met the man who would create this baby with me what are your thoughts boy boy yeah yeah so we're both on team boy not because we're rooting for boy specifically just because that's what we think so our appointment is in 15 minutes don't know we still are it's pretty trafficy for a Saturday but hopefully we make it there on time and you guys will find out soon 24 hours later hey guys so it's the next day um, yesterday was a whirlwind like okay we went to the appointment for 12 and remember for those of you who have never taken who have never done an ultrasound you have to drink a liter of water an hour before your appointment and hold it you can't pee and like if you're when you're pregnant you have to pee constantly even when you don't drink water so pretty painful experience I was sitting there at 12 o'clock thinking okay I'm gonna get let in now and the appointment was like 40 minutes late so I was gonna burst so we get in there and the technician was like mm, I can't see anything mm, baby's not facing the right way mm, you're gonna have to come back next week okay. she, she tried like for 15 minutes and it's an hour long appointment. Well, it's supposed to be an hour long. Anyway. Yeah, so I said to her, well, since I have an hour <laughs> slot with you guys, is it possible if um, I walk around, drink some more juice and come back because I've got my family, you know, dying to hear today. I told them all that we were gonna reveal the gender today. Is it possible? And I thought she was gonna be like, okay. She's like, no. I, I got other patients, but I had a whole hour, so. I don't know. Whatever. She was just, she didn't, she wasn't willing to help. So, so then she was like, oh, if there's too much fat, I can't see anything. Are you like, -E rude? <laughs> like, that's like basically saying you're too fat, just in a roundabout way. But, anyways. Yeah, whatever. So I left the room and I went to the receptionist and I'm like, listen. My family wants to know, Jim's parents are leaving for a vacation. I want it like tomorrow, can I tell, I want to tell them today. Um, is it possible you can sneak me in in between someone else's appointment? Just, I'll still come back next week to do the anatomy scan, but just to see gender. And she's like, okay, but you're gonna have to wait. So we waited another, I don't know what it was, another half hour, oh, wow. 45 minutes. I drank some juice, I drank some cold water. I was walking around. And we went there and it was really, she said yeah, it's still difficult, position was kind of crazy, but she said, okay, I gotta go in from like the side of you to try to get the front of the baby. And she was like digging, digging, digging to the point that I have like tear, like tears, like open wounds, bleeding, like the things we do for our children. But I was dying to know and I, and I know my family was dying to know, so I was like, do it, I don't care. She finally found the gender and she, first she was unsure and then she was sure. So then after the appointment, we, you know, just started telling all of our family and our friends and it was really exciting. It didn't sink in actually because we like, we didn't take two seconds to I think about totally, it ourselves. I was totally expecting that I'd get emotional and it, like, you know, as soon as they told me what the baby's gonna be, I thought I was gonna break down. And, be like, <laughs> but it was nothing. It was ice cold because it was. Well, we didn't get an opportunity to I was, really let it like sink in. We were just like, okay, we know we gotta go. So, well, the thing the thing is, one, 
because she was like digging into my gut, you, I was like in pain. pain that we didn't have a moment. And like I, when she said what it was, you, she, he was down by like my legs and he squeezed my legs. So that was like our moment. Oh yeah. And so reenactment, pretend this is the lake, and he went like this. They know what squeezing of the leg <laughs> means. So, so yeah, that was like our one split second of a moment together and then we proceeded to just start telling everybody and we then didn't look at each other for the rest of the day because we were like on the phone or talking to people and like that's what it was and then it wasn't until the evening that he like until like everything died down everybody found out and he looked over at me and he's like we're having a whatever and he got emotional and we had our little moment but it was oh, funny how you guys want to know yeah. We're not gonna tell you. Yeah, no, no, no. It, no. What it was. We're still calling it it, no. What it was. <laughs> but yeah, that. so it's funny how we went the whole day before we acknowledged it to each other. And I still think, like, even today we haven't because today is Mother's Day. That's another reason why I really wanted to find out yesterday because I thought it'd be a nice Mother's Day gift to myself. Um, Mom. Do you think we've made them wait enough? So we have this little popper, and if it pops, come on Vanna White. If it pops blue, it's a boy. If it pops pink, it's a girl. Very unique. Is it gonna aim right at it? Yeah. It's, it's a, a boy! boy. <laughs> so if you've been watching my vlogs, uh, you know that we've been referring to our baby as he, him, all the time, like involuntarily, like, just yeah. It, there was it no intention of out. doing that, but it just kind of came out that way. So I think we both knew it. You, if you know, you saw on my way to the appointment that I was saying I thought it was a boy all along, even before I knew Jim. I just pictured myself with a boy, and it's funny because it's very rarely what you think, and it was what I thought. So I wasn't surprised, and I'm very happy um, that I feel more connected. I I feel like it's. A person now yeah. and I could say he and him and it's just really exciting I think Jim's a little bit nervous he acts cool as a cucumber but I think you're a little bit nervous you saw my lipstick I'm, I'm cool. cool I'm cool as he's a cucumber cute. it's a cucumber but I think I'm not, he's a little I'm bit not nervous. worried but I'm nervous I, I'd say I'm not scared just nervous because obviously you're never prepared to be a dad or a parent so hopefully I'm hoping that I'll be a one I think that um, I've been around babies my whole life. I was very, I'm very comfortable with babies. I've taken care of babies, held babies, and his Jim's niece is the very first baby he's been around. So yeah. he's he probably thinks he's not ready, but as most of you guys say in the comments all the time, oh god, emotional. Hold on. Suck that bag in. Suck it in. He's gonna be a great dad, and I think he will. So. Aww. I'm very excited cue, and cue, cue the kiss. again, but you just got rid of the old lipstick. So um, right, thank you so much for watching. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much for your constant love and support and positive energy. Um, we truly appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. See you.